how to make an electronic invitation using evite.com. Let's go to www.evite.com and we need to sign in if you haven't already signed in. Now you'll see that it wants a zip code. Uh, this is set up for mainly people living in the United States. Uh, I don't believe I can do uh, New Zealand. Let me try. Initially it was asking for uh, American areas only. Oh, so that I have progressed the program since I last was using it, which is good. Um, you can use your actual birthday if you wish, or makeup. Uh, if if you're logging in for uh, a company, you you'd have to choose who you're logging in with. Uh, my big e next big event. Uh, we're going to do an open day. And let's do that for 2020. Let's do it in on a Saturday. Uh, yes, I'd like to get updates. And no, I don't want party offers. Right. Um, you can finish this if you wish. Or we can go on. Now to set up our actual invitation, let's create an invitation here. You'll see that there's templates already arranged in here. Some are free and some are for paid subscribers. So I'm signing up for a free version. So I just want to see everything that's free. I can tick this box here. And it'll just show me the free templates. And I'm trying to find something suitable for an open day. Scrolling through until you see a template that would be ideal. And let's see if there's anything this side as well. Looking under a professional event and premium. I could do please join us, so I'll make a mental note of that. Also this one, you're invited as well. I think I'll go for this one. So once you've found a template that you like and it suits your event, click on the template and then fill in the details. So I'm going to do a fictitious company just for the sake of the example. I've already selected its professional event. If you hadn't in your in the previous window, you can do the drop down and find uh, something that would be suitable for your uh, invitation. Hosted by event date, uh, we're doing 2020. And I'm going to start it 
just an early afternoon and then I want to add an end time so dates remains the same but I just want to bump it out to about seven phone number is not necessary you can put it in if you do want people contacting you with inquiries uh, location Because it's a fictitious company, I'm just uh, trying to put something together for you, so you can see. Now, this area here, last time when it was set up just for American addresses, it would then attach a map to your invitation. So it would be interesting to see now that other uh, countries are available whether it still uses a map just for America um, polling tools or what to bring you can add this if it suits your event for my example it doesn't suit my event I'm putting in a suitable uh, notice in here which will be kind of like when they open up the invitation this is the uh, note that they receive over this side on the right hand side of your screen RSVP style now there's quite a few options uh, in here there's templates and under fashionista uh, it's just the wording that changes so if I do more let's have a look at moods very different wording again and if we do Shakespeare see how the wording changes or we could go for formal this is um, the most uh, popular that people put on uh, their RSVPs so it all de depends on your event again uh, next option down do you want to allow people to bring or send gifts uh, and if it was a um, for a charity event you probably would but uh, I'm not going to for my event uh, donations oh sorry donations now again uh, it's not for a charity event and we're not doing crowdfunding so uh, this is not uh, part of mine Alright, so once we've got as much details as possible in this area, we're then going to push continue. And then you uh, add people's email addresses. So because this is an electronic invitation, it needs to go electronically. And the best way to do that is through people's emails. So I'm just going to add... And Joshua is pretty good at being my go-to person for examples uh, so this builds a list for you you could import contacts if you uh, already have contacts available let's have a look in here you could bring them through from your Gmail Yahoo account from your outlook.com account or use the ones in eBite so uh, continue adding your guests as you wish and then finish and send so that's going off to Joshua to respond confirming I'm not a robot this is to avoid spam going into people's emails uh, you can upgrade if you wish I'm going to skip and just stay on the free version so once your invitations have set, been sent out, you can log back into eBite or if you want to see straight away. So, so imagine a couple of days have gone by and we've logged back in with our username and login to eBite.com and we come to this area here, Manage Invitations. This gives us a list of what invitations we currently are holding. 
If you need to add more guests, then go ahead and add more guests. You can see down here uh, who has the invitations been sent to. So I'm the host and then one other guest. You can have a look at the status. By default, the person sending out the invitation comes back as confirmed automatically. And Josh's one is still sending. So when he replies, the status will show up here. Uh, if after a couple of days you're finding that people's invitations haven't been responded to, you can push out a reminder. So we could send out a message and say, I'm just reminding you of the invitation that's sitting in your inbox, just needing responses for um, catering purposes or um, maybe you've got a limited number that needs to attend so you just want to make sure people uh, do respond and don't miss out. So that's how we set up a electronic invitation using evite.com. Thank you for watching.